In this video, I am going to show you how to add a background image in Google Docs. So there may be times when you're working in Google Docs where you want to have a background image where your text is displaying on top of your image. Well, there's a few different ways that we can do that in Google Docs. There's not really a built-in way to do that at this time, but there's a few simple workaround methods that we can use to accomplish this. Now, if you've seen my previous Google Doc video, in that one, I've mostly focused on how to caption an image. A lot of um, the techniques or methods that I showed in that video, I'm also gonna show in this video, because the way that you create a background image is the same in many aspects. There are a few differences though, which I'm going to cover in this video. So the first way I'm going to show is just inserting your image into Google Docs and then selecting the behind text option. So what you wanna do is first select in your Google Doc wherever you want your image to appear and then we're gonna upload our image. So I'm gonna go insert image and I have my image saved on my computer so I'm going to select upload from computer. Then I'm going to select my image and now I have my image in my Google Doc. Then what you wanna do is click on your image and when you click on your image, you will see these options appear on the bottom. I'm gonna select behind text. Now I'm gonna bring my cursor up to the top of my image and I can now write and my image will be a background. So the text is on top of the image. And you can continue writing as normal in Google Docs and this will basically just be a background. Now you will notice that the layout of this is not directly on top of my image. That more just has to do with the positioning of the image. So if you wanna move it so that everything um, is lined up better, you can move your image around, you can resize it. Uh, so this is the first option is just selecting the behind text option from your image and then writing on top of your image. So that is one option. The next option that I'm going to show is using the drawing feature to insert an image and write on top of it. So again, if you've seen my last video on captioning an image, you've already seen both of these methods, but I'm mostly focusing on background images in this video, so I'm showing it again. So to use the drawing feature method, what you wanna do is insert, drawing, and then new. And then this drawing editor will pop up on your Google Doc. And the first thing you wanna do is image and upload your image. So my image, again, is on my computer. So I'm just going to upload it. And this is my image. And then what you wanna do is text box. And then you're going to click and hold and release this the size of how you want your text box to be. And now I have this text box here. And you can write whatever you want. Um, and you have all of your formatting options up here and you have some additional ones over here. And then you can save and close and it will now be in your Google Doc. So that is another option. Um, you have a lot more control over where exactly this text box shows up on your image with this option. So you can move it around um, wherever you want it. Whereas the other one, um, the other option, you're kind of limited by the formatting options within Google Docs itself. Um, so that's one thing to think about. So that's the second method. Um, the next method works kind of similar to this drawing method, except we're using Google Slides to put our text on top of our image, and then we're inserting the image that we created in Google Slides. So what you wanna do with this method is first open up a new Google, Google Slides. Um, so I have that here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size of this slide. So we're gonna go to File, Page Setup, and we're gonna set it to Custom. So you can change this to whatever size you want, but ideally what you wanna do is set it to a size that's closer to the size of a Google Doc. 
because then it will look a lot nicer in your Google Doc. So I'm going to do 11 by 8 and a half. And I'm going to select Apply. And then what we want to do is we want to insert our image as a background. So we're going to go up to Slide and Change Background. And then Image, Choose Image. So again, I have this on my computer. So I'm going to browse for the folder, upload this done and now you can see my image is now a background in this slide so I'm going to delete some of these default boxes and I will just type here on the title box this is my text and you can continue writing or adding in additional text um, however you want through slides and when you have your desired text then what you want to do is download your slide as an image so file download now you can either use JPEG or PNG I'm just gonna do JPEG um, I'll just leave it as untitled presentation save then we go back to your Google Doc and you're just gonna insert this as an image now so image upload from computer here's the one and now you have your text on top of your image that we created through Google Slides. So those are the three options that I'm covering in this video. So we have now gone through all three. So just to recap, there is the option where you insert your image and then you select the behind text button. There's the option where you insert drawing and then you create a text box on top of your image and then there's the option where you use Google Slides to add your image as a background and then you put your text on and then import it back into Google Docs. So each method has its strengths over the other. Um, the behind text option is the quicker method, but you don't have as much customization on the layout of your text. It's a lot more finicky to get it to show up um, how exactly you want it. But the drawing feature or the Google Slides feature, um, you have way more control over where your text appears and how it appears. So if you're looking for more customization, one of those options is probably better for you. If you're just looking to get it done, um, the first method is probably best for you. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.